ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਪੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਮੇਰੇ ਐਲੀ ਨਾ ਖਾਰੇ ਦੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਔਰ ਦੂਜੇ ਦੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਐਲੀ ਨਾ ਮਾ ਕਿਆ ਗੁਲਾ ਨੇ ਮਾਤਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਮਾ ਕਿਆ ਫਾਗੀ ਦਾਸ ਲੈ ਗੁਡਕ ਆਪੇ ਟਰੈਕਸ ਲਾ ਗੁਡਕ ਕਿਟਿਆ ਇਹ ਵਗੇ ਮਾ ਲਾਇਨ ਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਹ ਵਗੇ ਮਾ ਯੋਰ ਲਵ ਇਹ ਵਗੇ ਮਾ ਜਸਟ ਵਨ ਕਲਿਕ ਐਂਡ ਇਹ ਵਗੇ ਮਾ ਅਦ ਮਾ ਕਿਆ ਕਿ ਅਲੂਤ 뮤직 ਵੀਡੀਓ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਇਲਾ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਐਮ ਆਈ ਇਹ ਦੇਖ ਅਦਾ ਆਪੇ ਮਾ ਕਿਆ ਤੇ ਕਦ ਖਦਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਲਾ ਵੀ ਬਾਲਮਾ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਗੇ ਮਨਾ ਦੇ ਵਿਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਿਆ ਯੋਰ ਦ ਵਨ ਦਾ ਕਮ ਦਾ ਮਾਰ ਸੇਕਿੰਗ ਲਵ ਮਾ ਥੈਂਕ can't do anything at all i don't need shine be a pro yeah you give me you mother day obviously i got the love you are the ni pet pet mana ga jaye tenna jaye na de ta va lo va ho na paat ve na sunan I'll be on my new thing, tied it in some shoestring, grinding on my own to show me what do you bring. I'm never the same, but I'm on my own. Do I need to bother my neck again? This ain't gonna end me. It's a door open and I'm free. Oh, sometimes I'm gonna be How are you Mark here? Good Welcome man. to Sri Lanka. Thank you man. Good to be back here. Good to see you man. Good to see you too. So Mark here. Tell us a bit about yourself. <laughs> well, I'm a hip hop artist from Melbourne, Australia. Mm-hmm. Uh I I produce. I've got my own record label uh called 51 Entertainment. Mm-hmm. Um had a chance to work with another Sri Lankan artist named Araj uh mm-hmm. which uh seems to be quite, quite a quite familiar looking like you but uh yeah had a great time uh doing a couple of tracks uh, line nation was one just one click was another uh your love was another one as well and also even more excited about some new stuff that we got coming out as well mm-hmm. so markia is your real name no <laughs> what's, your, what's your real name my real name is mark uh-huh. uh markia stands for mark is anointed so the ia stands for is anointed uh is is something that i feel uh on my music that There's a greater calling in this. It's not just about music, but there's a message in that which I would love to all my fans and the people that hear the music to really understand. You're the one that's on my mind. Taking up my day Can't do anything at all My beautiful escape I can't even drive my car Without thinking about your love So I don't need nothing else I forget about the club Don't wanna break out on you Just wanna spend time with you But in case I act a fool Just know that I'm telling the truth When I'm wildin' and stylin' Try to rock it in the club When I'm front end and fucking trying to play solo something when I'm running from something and my drama got me stuck I know that in my heart I can't hide away from your love your love Now I want to change my ways so I can put you first cuz every time I did you wrong you hit me where it hurts I'll be lying to myself if I thought you wouldn't know but in case you couldn't tell I'm trying to change the show so what a break out on you just want to spend time with you but in case I act a fool still the time to what a while Talent, try to rock it in the club When I'm front end and fucking Try to play solo some pop When I'm running from something And my trauma got me stuck I know that in my heart I can't hide away from your love
She got right to die, shorty. Down and testify, tell a lie, be an alibi. Always by my side. One bullet's run now, she quick to reload that nine. Stick the wheels on my ride, right to your bed nine. While I walk by tangan, keep that the tabber splahan, keep that kira tangan. Dad, she in my head, I'm in the mind. Breakfast in bed, but now I always spend the time. Used to rock, matching you rock pumps. So now she gets me coats and vintage Louis trunks. Front row, fashion week. Pay per view in the penthouse suite. In the plane, in the front seat, in the back, me chauffeur, still up to no good. And take over the world together and make sure it's gonna last forever. Yo, Markia, how do you uh, describe your genre of music? I describe my genre of music as good quality R&B and hip hop music. Good quality. Good quality. Good quality. Good quality. Good quality, as in it doesn't necessarily sell out to the coming, like, to the trends that are that are current. But it is timeless. It, it can be played in 10 years' time and it still sounds relevant. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that a lot of music these days, the lifespan of it is about six months. Mm -hmm. you, if you release a song today, it would only last for about six months to a year. Mm -hmm. uh, but the music that I grew up with has lasted a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And my passion and my goal why do you is... Why say that? Why? Yeah. Because I feel that uh, back then with artists like Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, uh, Boys to Men, LL Cool J, Jay-Z, all these artists really put their heart and soul into their music. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't just about let's make a club track or let's make a slow jam. It was something where they said, I've got something that I need to say. And because of that, they put their heart on paper mm -hmm. and then they put that on record. And people relate to that. Mm -hmm. People can, can feel that when Tupac talked about his struggles, people felt it. Mm -hmm. People understood what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And I feel that as musicians and as artists, we have that opportunity to, to express ourselves. And I think the, the times that we don't express ourselves is when we go into that six month to one year category and it's just for the season and that's it. Um, do you write your own lyrics? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. So what do you usually talk about? I talk about things that aren't the usual things that I said in hip-hop and R&B uh, because of what, what I believe. I believe that music has a very uh, strong power and it has the ability to dictate and determine a lot of things like fashion, culture, uh, the way that we speak, the way that we dress. Mm -hmm. It has a way of determining all of these things. Uh, so I feel that it's my responsibility as an artist to, uh, to understand that power. And so for me, there are certain things I will not talk about on, on track um, because I just don't believe in it. I don't believe about... Example? Okay, so the typical hip-hop things, right? If you're a rapper these days, you talk about certain things like... Money. Money, cars, <laughs> women, drugs, uh, you know, partying and, up and doing all this crazy wild stuff. I don't believe in doing that. He 
music ever created. It is the ability to, to speak your mind in a very harsh way, in a very honest way, that you don't have to soften the blow, you don't have to beat around the bush, mm -hmm. it is something that you can just be straight up and honest with. Mm -hmm. And I feel that, that hip hop in its essence is that, it's truth. Mm -hmm. And it is absolute truth and it is something that, um, it, is, it is something that is completely honest. Mm -hmm. and, and when it's delivered, people understand the honesty. That's my opinion. <laughs> Maduna, 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 You know what, the funny thing is my biggest uh, influence was actually my sister because uh, when I was younger I used to see her walking around with big jeans and with checked shirts and with bandanas and everything and uh, she was into groups like Jodeci and I used PLC. To, yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely uh, and I used to just watch her and think that is really cool I don't know what it's about but then so as I more and more I started to get into hip-hop music there were artists like Notorious B.I.G. who I was really into uh, Jay-Z I feel that uh, as, a, as a lyricist and the way that he he could flow his lyrics was just so creative um, Tupac was a great storyteller uh, that's on an artist level 
on a production level. Mm -hmm. uh, producers like Teddy Riley, who produced Michael Jackson, uh, Janet Jackson, uh, Bobby Brown, Kate Sweat, uh, Black Street, a whole bunch of artists. I feel that his style was, was amazing that he could produce for any artist and he can give them a hit. Uh, also producers like Timberland, uh, very creative, very different. Uh, I don't think anyone could recreate a Timberland track because just how, how different it actually is and the different sounds that he uses. Uh, Dr. Dre, of course, I think is probably one of my biggest inspirations because he's one of those people that went from nothing and made something. And he's he, he pretty much shaped hip hop music to what we to how we hear it now. And even now, 20 years on, he's still making beats that are still like, wow, how did you make that? And I love as as an artist, I can sit back and, and dissect a song and say, how did they come up with that? That is so amazing. And it, and it makes you sit back thinking, wow, I'm gonna get my game up as well because they're making some really great music. So influence wise, these people really uh, had a great impact on my my musical journey. So your sister is a very popular character in England. <laughs> She's a very popular character uh, in no in Australia as well. Mm -hmm. uh, she is an actor on Neighbours, mm -hmm. uh, the hit TV show. She plays Priya Kapoor, mm -hmm. who is the, the the mother in the Indian family. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, she's uh, we've got a very uh, uh, very um, talented family. Maakya ke sister landana the Neighbours ke na Australian. Um, Australia will produce a program that is in England. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. It is a SMS Karana, Magam, a mobile legata, Ogolan, Irash Shogana, Hitana Deval, Irash Shoga, Aluteng, Atulat Karanadu, Ona Deval, Eva Game Ogolan, Kamatinati Deval, Irash Shoga, Okoma Pita, SMS following Ogolan, a comment Kalapita, Kianabola, Ogolan Karantine, Dekai, Hatarai, Hai, Ata, SMS Kakavana, I R A J, get a type Kala, Ether Ogolan phone negata, Magam reply Kaka, a reply to Ogolan Pulang, SMS Karana, direct Magam phone negama, Irash Shoga Ganamana, Hitanagila.